And you can see the plainclothes policemen, a lot of uniformed policemen as well, moving the journalists away from the front of the court. There is huge interest in this trial. We've seen a number of representatives of the European embassies turn up asking for access, asking for further status, asking for access to witness the trial that many are seeing as a symbol of this government's crackdown under President Xi Jinping on freedom of speech and the ability of lawyers like Hu Chang on trial today, one of this country's best known defenders of human rights and the ability of people, people like that to speak out. He's essentially on trial today for a number of tweets that he sent basically poking fun at the Communist Party, poking fun at a number of figures in the party and asking questions too about China's policies in Xinjiang, suggesting or at least asking the question as to whether the harsh crackdown there is in some way responsible for the violence. A lot of people, a lot of independent observers suggesting that the content of those tweets are nothing more than commentary, the kind of thing you'd expect in any system, people asking questions. But the party authorities here have seen it as serious enough to put him on trial. And the charges on which he stands could get him eight years in prison. Observers we've spoken to suggest there is very, very little chance, if any, of an acquittal today.